What's up, fish tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you with more fish coming out of the greenhouse. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to talk about three things. We're going to talk about the sick live bear situation. I'm also going to show you some secret rainbows that I have been hiding in the greenhouse, and we're going to talk about birth control. First things first, guys, to avoid any sorts of bad situations, always wear socks with sandals. Chicks love it. To the greenhouse. All right, so as you can see, I can kind of see my breath. That means it's time to put the condom on the greenhouse. This is by far and away the best way to keep heat into a greenhouse. It's that time of year. I want to show you this. This is the morning sun, though. The morning sun hitting the greenhouse. The tanks uh, right in through there. Absolutely love the morning sun. So I want to show you this. I had Josh clean off the uh, roof of the greenhouse because what we want to do is we want to make this as clean as possible on top. And then we want to put this on here. Now, it's a two-man job, but basically what we do is we wrap this uh, all across. I've got two of these. This is ribbed for your pleasure, folks. And uh, we wrap this all over the top of the greenhouse. I actually lay them all the way across. So we're going to get this on here today, but I wanted to show you that. And then the morning sun, like full sun hitting all the tanks, it's a lot of fun. So let's roll to the greenhouse. Here. So I want to give you guys an update on the sick Hamburg blacks. There's the male. And he is eating, as you can see, he's eating, and I love seeing him eating. However, his baby mama is not eating so well. She's actually down there chilling. I'm gonna put some flakes in here. Hopefully he'll tear them up. There you go, buddy. So he's been tearing up some flakes, which uh, I'm loving. I wanna show you while we're waiting on him to eat. This is uh, the parameters that I'm keeping this at. Now this is flashing because I have it set at a low PPM, but this is from our friends at Hannah Instruments. This is actually their grow line unit. This thing is wicked, let me tell you. Um, I wish I had like six of them, but basically this probe goes in here and it tells me the pH is at uh, 7.11 and the PPMs is, uh, I'd like that to be around uh, 700. That's why it's flashing actually. It's set to be above, uh, if it's below 600 it flashes and then the temperature is at 75 degrees. So that's how this dude is sitting. But I want you to see, I threw some flakes in there. Uh, just a second. Oh, and I want to show this real quick. She just came out. I just threw a bunch of food in there and she just started to get uh, up and she's pecking at the food so that is a huge sign folks that is a really really good sign uh, I mean obviously not swimming well but if we can get food inside of her swimming around in circles and looking terrible but she did take a tiny bit of food so good job hey, you got it on camera good job girl keep eating mama you got children to feed see he's eating so that's a good sign because if you have internal parasites and the fish is eating like they're gonna be able to get medicine to the problem Camera doesn't do it justice, but that's full sun hitting these tanks in the morning. And here's a fish, we'll bring it inside. All right, so this fish is actually a random fish I purchased from the rainbow fish legend, Mr. Gary Don't Carry out in St. Louis. Uh, I'm excited to bring these fish in. Look, it doesn't really fit into the philosophy of what I'm trying to do in the 220, but it's one of my favorite fish. I love them. Uh, Josh actually just handed to me in a bag the other day and was like, hey man, let's get these out of here. So they're going in a tank. Please know this is a special moment for me because I'm actually bringing a rainbow fish down back into the basement. You might recall at one point in my life, I had about, I don't know, 40 Bozmati rainbows in this 220 right here. So she got a bath the other day. I got the algae off the rocks. Still got the socks, but no sandals. And uh, we're gonna put her in here along with a couple of her friends. And I want to show you guys a quick trick that I do when I'm acclimating fish that uh, serves two purposes. Real quick, the update on these guys. So Josh was cleaning out some skank tanks and he found a ton of babies. So uh, I now have one, two, three, four, and then there was a couple tiny little guys, five uh, in this tank here. And then here's another one that I'm acclimating. You can see they're happy to be reunited double lp world excited new wu-tang album out thanks everybody for dropping me comments on this but here's the tip right so i've got this big bag in here and it's a five gallon aquarium and i've been acclimating this slowly i'm not going to put this skank water in here i love that people were busting my balls in the last uh, video about how i don't use nets i still don't have a net handy here but what i'm going to do is this and this is the easy trick Consider this like a partial water change because we're not going to put all this water in here But we can certainly add a ton of water in like this get a ton of water in this bag So when you're filling this bag like I'm gonna try to fill this whole bag You know like double the amount of water that I have right there that way when you remove it See how the water level goes down like that So I'm gonna try to add even more water into this bag and then I'm gonna dump it into this skank tub right here And then I'm gonna top it off with fresh water. So it's kind of like a partial water change. So that's just a little tip 
I don't know if I can catch it on camera or not, but I want to show you something exciting that's going on. This is one of the Variatus platies, or they're just a Variatus, but he's back there, and he was picking at that algae on this wood a second ago, which is super, super cool. That fish right there, by the way, is the only reason that I do not have a bajillion mystery snails in here, because he actually goes and attacks them, because they got the big, long things coming out. second and talk about something that's kind of bothering me here with the 220. I love all the comments by the way in the last video about how you all know that I like this is my baby and I do love her. So yeah, the 220 is my baby and I do love her. She has been neglected but we're trying to bring it back. But I want to talk about something that's like a philosophical thing that I'm struggling with with the 220 right now and that is this. Look, I am not Noah's Ark, all right? This is, I am not Noah. This is not my Ark, okay? The, there is no flood coming. Like there is no need for me to have two of every kind of fish and I advise people against this all the time you see fantastic aquascapes what do they have they have like you know a whole school of one type of fish and at one point i had 40 bosmani rainbows in here but now i'm getting into noah's ark style of fish keeping which look it happens people do it and if you like that go for it but like i really don't want to have six of this species and then six of the variatus and then one random checkerboard cichlid and one random angelfish and three random rainbows and then two random neons like that's not how i'm trying to roll in a 220 gallon aquarium it's where i'm headed right now but like personally like i'm not too stoked about it because i'd rather have like 300 neons or you know of the variatus like i'd like to have like 50 of those this is going against my philosophy i think that's something that people miss out on when they're setting up aquariums is like what's the philosophy like what's the fish are you gonna have a dominating fish and, and roll with that so it's getting me a little off here i got a plan for it though. All right, so let's talk about all the fish we got going on here for a second. First and foremost, I was going to put the Variatus platies. The Variatus is what they are. They're not a platy. They're not a molly. They're a Variatus. They're over there, the orange ones. I was going to put those in here in the B26, but I just like the flow of this tank with just the way it is. I thought the orange would look cool, like popping all around, but I like the betta fish by himself. If I were to change it up, I would get him out of here and I would add all of them by a school, but I just like him solo because it's like he's kind of just like lurking in the shadows. Who? Ha, hoo, ha, if you're catching me there, the Woo fans. So yeah, I'm gonna leave him chilling in there. He's doing pretty good, eating on the cherries. Uh, nope, that is the Fubal B26. Look, we still got free Fubal bug bites. Anybody who makes a 30 second video saying why I want some free Fubal bug bites. And the funniest one does get an FX4 from yours truly. So um, get to link those videos up, free food, fish food. I got a few left. So uh, that's what's rolling on in here. So I did leave this alone creatively. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna leave that tank alone. Notice the boost just popping, just like a little bit of a water change, got rid of some of the duckweed, and boom, new leaves on all the boosts. The purple boost, oh, so dank. So we go from there. Now we go over here and we talk about these fish. All right, now these fish are Cross Creek rainbows that I got from the man Gary Don't Carry Lying. I just want to show you guys the chill zone of here. This is the seat. That is the ottoman. <laughs> That's the life of a YouTuber over there. Um, so yeah, we sit here like this and we observe this. Now, like I said, the philosophy of this tank, like I'm turning into an old man with a beard and a big wooden ship, like, I don't like that I'm gonna have so many like random fish. Like there's two random neons, there's two random bloodfin tetras. Like I don't have a lot of anything. So I'm kind of at that stage. I've got big plans coming to places to put all of these crazy fish. But for now, I wanna show you what's going on. So these are Cross Creek rainbows that I got from Gary Don't Carry Lang when I was out there. You click the links around, all kinds of videos about Gary Lang these days. And uh, see these, had to buy them like on the spot, immediately purchased them. Uh, I've got one. I've got two, and I've got three. Now, a school of three sucks, man. I want like a school of like seven or eight or 20, you know? I've also got this right here. Now, this is a female Hamburg Black. Now, this is the healthiest baby mama that I got right now. She's in here. Notice her orange poop is in there. I'm gonna get her out soon. Relax, mama, you're good. But I've got one of her, one of her, okay? Like one, that sucks. I do have one male and he's out in the greenhouse and he is eating as we saw earlier, so that's okay. But fundamentally, like, I'm not nuts about the way this is going, all right? So I got like three of this, two of the, three, two, one angelfish, one checkerboard, six very, five variatus, six of these with more on the way. And it's just like, it's becoming a community tank. So, you know, folks, if you ask me like, what kind of fish you get, I'm not gonna tell you to do this. I'm gonna tell you to go get like 20 of one species and roll like that. So I want everyone to understand like fundamentally, 
fundamentally Dusty does not want to do this. This is making me pissed off. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to live with the community. And I might like it, okay? Because I've got temporary things. This is a temporary solution to a problem that I'm having with lack of tank space. I've got plenty of tanks, but I just... I don't have the philosophy with this yet. So if anybody wants to come with me down to Peru to collect some wonderful bloodfin tetras with me on some beautiful beach, I'd love to go. We should go. That would solve all of my problems. Anyway, rant over. Let's let these fish out. Somebody busted my chops but not having nets. I got nets for you today, you freaks. So we got this going here. We got the big tub. Always love these big tubs. Uh, note on this, one of the Cross Creek rainbows from Gary Don't Carry Land. Um, a ridiculous amount of poop in here, a lot of water. I had duckweed because I think duckweed removes uh, a tiny bit of the waste in the bag and I think it just makes them more chill when they have something over their head. So I'm gonna dump this in here like this. It's kind of, the net is actually not big enough, but dump him. Get all the poops out. One. Cross Creek Rainbow goes in the tank right here for you. Oh yes, there you go. See him, he sits right here, so that's good. He waits by his buddies, so that means we gotta hurry up and get the rest of his buddies in here. We go, oh! Boom. Wah! In there, like that. Oh, they're together. They're hanging out. And then we're gonna let this one out. It's always best to have the house cleaner come and then get fish water all over the floor. That's that's the best move. That's what you want to do to piss your wife off. Piss your life off, pink grub. We get this in here. Oh, there you go, buddy. There you go, you're in. Boom, and they're in. Instantly schooling. Uh, I like they they hang out with the blood fins. So uh, let me get this guy in here. He's holding the last female hammered black. She's a boom. Boom. And now we got everybody in the mix here. Note the Cross Creek Rainbows collected by Gary Don't Carry Lang are hanging out together. If you like this video, can I get a little thumbs up, a little like for my soul? If you want more action from your boy D and you think I deserve it, hit the subscribe button or that notifications button. I have been going live a lot more recently. And then check me out on Instagram, at Dustin's Fish Tanks on Instagram. I am doing a lot of stuff on there. I did half of this video live on Instagram, so it's just easier. Let's work behind the scenes. More Variatus Platus. I'm having fun in the 220 again, folks. Noah's Ark. Tank on, everybody. <laughs>